Yeah. yeah you you guys think I would do good in prison? I, I think, think you do great. You know jujitsu, and you're tall. I have a, do you think I have a kind is smile? A good... do you, Brandon, <laughs> you do. do you think jits is effective in prison? I think one v one sexual assault situations it would be good, but as soon as mm-hmm. like uh, you know Brutus and Andre come in and they want to put the works on me tag team style, I think my jujitsu starts to uh, run into yeah. some issues. Any well, jits guy if... with a modicum of modesty understands that it's not a two v one fighting style, and. Uh, yeah. Also, or they hit like you with that prison I, napalm or something as an opening move. But, but, or like, yeah, I, I, I sink in a fucking triangle and he just starts shanking me in my ribs with a knife. That's the thing. What about <laughs> shanks? What about knives? What about like, what if you just look in the wrong way and they kick it off with a lock and a sock to the back of your head? Yeah, I'm and trying to tell him fine. to tap and he's literally disemboweling me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like, do I think that you can beat a jealous boyfriend who meets you outside in a bar situation? Yeah. That's where you thrive. That's your that's yeah. your place. You're in the grass in front of a bar with a mm-hmm. jealous boyfriend who's untrained and overconfident. I, can I? I'll give odds on this, you know. But in prison with some guy with a shank, you want to cuddle? No, yeah, no. trouble. I think we're going to avoid fighting at all. I think that would be yeah. the, the, the way to the way to. to I've to seen go. a lot of prison fight videos, and almost always the two people involved aren't the ones delivering head kicks, but head kicks are there. Like oh, so, someone is someone is coming in and kicking heads, and it's like, damn, this guy's beating the shit out of it. Oh, and now he's paralyzed too. Like <laughs> that is yeah. the, the, just don't get in a fight in prison. I would imagine is the rule. Kyle's right. Man, you, know, you I, have I'm to be able to mind your own in. business. I'm rewatching mm-hmm. Sixty Days In, um, and it's the season where there was a Marine, like this chubby ex Marine guy, mm-hmm. and and they do this evaluation stage at the beginning where like the sheriffs or whatever, oh, yeah. the jail running guy is like, he evaluates the, the, the entrance and, and, and he picks one of them to be like the alpha of the group. He's like, Dale, I'm going to say that you're the most prepared to go into our jail. I think we're going to send you in today. Obviously we can't send four men in at once. It looks kind of funny. So you going mm-hmm. in today immediately, this guy's like, well, I, um, I don't know, you know, I gotta I gotta check my laundry and uh I gotta I gotta make some phone calls. I you know, I got a lot of uh what time is it now like now? Like he's scared immediately. He starts crying and taps out in the entrance room. Like like what? in that oh, first shit. like dr- it's like the drunk tank essentially. It's it's the, yeah that is the nicest room that you'll ever be if you get arrested. <laughs> it's that first <laughs> little silver stainless steel or plexiglass room where you just sit there with your arms crossed and it's real cold for, ha- for an hour or two. He starts crying in there and fucking tapped out. It was real embarrassing. Oh, yeah. That was brutal. I remember making fun of him on stream. That guy, all-time loser in that show. I don't know. There were, there were, <laughs> there were at least two people who tapped an intake. At least the two worst, people no, no. tapped an intake. The all-time worst, loser. The worst <laughs> is this. There was, there was a midget who applied one time. And, I, and when I say midget, I mean, like, he even has a little person voice. And he's about, I don't know, five foot one. You mean ah, dwarf, are, Kyle. Yeah, but they have their own presence. Midget. And this no, it, no, it wasn't a dwarf. Those are mythical creatures. Don't, don't that's you're a big okay. <laughs> they go into normal that's the size prisons. Dwarf, like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's the PC word. No, it's, damn it, just not just the racist See, it word. It came full circle, just like <laughs> now we call them black people. The, the size this word. It came full circle. Now you're the you got to use the right semantics. How does it feel? Yeah. You better hope there's no dwarves back there behind you. You know, I got a hearing. I got a ladder. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Get up of your hate speech, quite frankly. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to click report. I wanted to be on the show. <laughs> so for some reason this midget wants to go to 60 days in and and he he doesn't even make it to like the entrance day he's like in the training program and he's calling he's like you know i've been thinking about this maybe maybe it's not such a great idea after all. <laughs> yeah. like, like he bitches out before he even gets to step one uh at least you're, you're covering though. they always gave them cover stories that were yeah. like made to fuck them up so they i i bet they would make really? him a small arms dealer <laughs> <laughs> They like gave they them would, cover stories that sort of sabotaged them. Oh, intentionally. Like they would like there were times where they'd be like, so your cover story is that you were pulled over for driving with expired plates, but you had a warrant for an insurance thing. Yep. And and it was off this road at this time. And this is your story. And the person will be like memorizing their story. Like, I yeah. need to keep this straight. Then they get in and instantly someone's like, hey, what are you in for? And they run through it. And the guy in the prison is like, that's not even this county. Why would this county be housing you in jail? What the fuck are you talking he's about? Like, oh, you, well, because it's you're, federal you're in, Clark, you're in Clark County, and and 
you committed it in in Orange County or whatever, and it, then he's and like, the guy well, goes, federal, oh, well, it's, it's federal charge. And he's like, well, if it's federal, you need to be upstairs then. Yeah. Like, this guy's such a fucking criminal that they he knows all, where you yeah. go when you, when you get federal or state and charges. They, they and they all know it, too. Like, you would and think, so he like, walks be, away, and he's like, you better get your st story straight. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, my God, does this guy just know? That was and another the part is, that. the guy whose cover is blown... He was already going to struggle. He was a yeah. goofy. He looked like the guy you cast as the white nerd in high school. He looked like um, who was the um, the the kid from Saved by the Bell who eventually did the porno, like the, the nerd from Screech. He looked like fucking Screech, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave him a fake cover story. It was dude, it that, was scary. that show is so good. Like the people who do well often surprise you. We've had two members of the show on on here, and. The guy who did the Bible story, Bible story, you know, they made him look silly on the show. But then when he came yeah. on here, he's like, yeah, in honesty, like, that's where I made the most friends. People did come to the Bible study and we all did talk and chat. And like religion seems like such an important inroad. I noticed that there was this one woman who was an absolute kook, a loon, like no, not even the prisoners wanted to hang out with her. But she, because she went so far with the religious shit, like she wasn't like, we're going to have Bible study. She's like, the Lord is returning. And here you sit complaining of the meals set before you oh, like shit. things like that. And so all the real yeah. criminal ladies are like, I'm not fucking with that bitch. <laughs> like, 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 like near the end of the show, she started like out, and out in the common area talking about how ghosts were visiting her every night and like, murderers were keeping distance so you, smart strategy oh yeah i remember there was a black girl she was like yeah a ghost tried to rape me last night yeah <laughs> and, 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 the girls, too. It was a couple nights and, and her happens. cellmate's like oh yeah fuck i yeah. don't <laughs> wake up run night one night think i'm one of the ghost rapists and shank me or something yeah. like it was scary <laughs> the greatest contestant of all time is tony though tony is this big black dude who, who goes in and he's such a hard ass i think he'd worked as a prison guard before so he goes in, and I don't know what transaction he had done with a fellow inmate, maybe some potato chips or something like that. Yeah, totally but right. this guy owed Tony now, and he couldn't pay Tony back. And Tony's like, give me your fucking pants then. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy's like, what? Take off your pants. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so the man takes off his pants, and Tony fucking takes them from him. Uh. And, and that man is so afraid of Tony. Tony takes everything from him, by the way. It's not just pants. <laughs> but that was the most embarrassing thing. Like, it's bad enough he cleans your pockets out and robs you. But if the man says, take off your goddamn pants, too. I own those pants now. Yeah, now they're my fucking pants. Yeah. See you later, son. Wranglers, huh? But he took his pants. Know. And so yeah. this man, I, and a real deal criminal, goes to the staff, the prison staff, or jail staff, and is like, that Tony guy is gonna fuck me up. You gotta get me in protective custody. <laughs> He's afraid of the contestant <laughs> yeah. and has to go into protective custody. And Tony's like, yeah, it's what it is. It's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Tony's great. Yeah, he was the best character. I I called them characters because it's so not real, a lot so of it. Silly. But like, yeah. Hi, hi T Tony. That guy, the the prison conformed to whatever he wanted it to be. He like, he a lot of them did that bullshit where they're like, yeah, I've been here for a week and I feel like I'm one of the top guys. And then they go talk to, to Nazi McGillicuddy and they're like, you know, what do you think about Steve? And they're like, he ain't a Nazi. We see through it. Like, like level like that. Level <laughs> this guy, Tony, He's a wannabe. Ever, well, respected by everyone. Like he was he, all timer, all time top ranking guy, I think. I mean, but the best ones are the people who suck. The people who go in there, so much false confidence, so much nonsense that like, the balls to walk into a prison situation and be like, yeah, I'm a third grade teacher and I'm ultimately confident in this because I deal with adverse situations all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you can just send them away to another adult who doles out punishment. Like what, like, this is not like prison at all. The worst part mm -hmm. is like, I, I like, I, I did that. You know, I went to prison for 60 days, so I feel like I've done what, they, what they're sure. doing. So I feel like I can, I, I feel like I can talk as much shit on them as <laughs> I want. Yeah. Because I didn't cry once. <laughs> <laughs> All right? I cried at home a few times <laughs> after I got arrested. <laughs> 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 and then never again uh, but for, for that, for, the, for, for, for all of that nonsense. And I certainly wasn't going to fucking cry in jail. In front of the fucking cops? Yeah, definitely. Not. Fuck that. Let them know I'm upset. Fuck in front of you. snow. I'm not showing any of any goddamn hmm. emotion. Like, like let's go. But yeah, let's go. Fucking do I turn left now? What do you want? Like, but the, and these people are being such pussies on that show, mm -hmm. especially the ones that tap out, like in that entrance area. Like all they've seen was like 
a black guy with his arms like 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 maybe they're in the tank with like a homeless guy who's like a passed out in the corner and that scared him for some uh, reason it's like how and, i didn't I grow know, up in the inner just... cities or anything i've never been exposed to any hard scary shit but i was just like okay here we go like like nobody's gonna fuck us and it's always some like It'd be one thing if you were some like femboy going in there. That would be scary. Like the more attractive and small you are, I think the scarier mm-hmm. it could actually be to go in there. But that, that marine, for example, was like, you know, a, a, a chubby white dude. There's yeah. plenty of chubby white dudes in there. You're not gonna be the bell of the ball or anything. Just, no, he would just stand there and like hold on to the railing because he, he was in for a day. I think. I think he he, tra- he started tapping out in the entrance area, but they actually put him in. And got him out like later that day or something. But he just stood there so scared like someone was going to attack him. Wouldn't that be funny? Like a guy who's worried about the sexual assault in prison, but he's so ugly. He becomes like a prison wallflower. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he's, like he's upset because there's no affection being shown his way. And all the other guys are getting in. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand. Why am I not fuckable? I put Kool-Aid powder on my lips, too. <laughs> Is that he's, uh, like, he's the only contestant yeah. we've ever seen turn himself out. <laughs> he prolapsed his own anus yeah <laughs> like, like unless somebody is like threatening you actually like there's no reason to be scared and i just felt like so many of these people are bitches i don't understand all the crying either whenever i, I don't understand the crying uh, it, 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 i it i was watching that at, i think it's the season that i was describing it was the one with the the marine guy it might be season one or two i don't know but the, I, I will say the scariest one, the one that, that that reminded me the most of like actual prison was the Atlanta jail. The Atlanta Jeez. jail is so much worse than where I was. The oh, Atlanta man. jail, I don't have any shit to talk about the people who went to the a- Atlanta jail because I didn't do what they did. Yeah, it, <laughs> Those it, people like, did some hard shit. Like that Kyle's place is describing. scary. So they, they switched prisons before season six and they moved to this very brutal high violence Atlanta prison. That's way more dangerous apparently than any other one they've, they've hosted the show at. And apparently a lot of the contestants did not know this. And so like there are interviews with them, like this is not at all like the other seasons of 60 days in, like Mm -hmm. I've watched the show. Like this is what the fuck we didn't know. Like there's fights every day, like actual violence, real drugs. It's way bigger, way more people, way more politicking with the, the, you know, the The gang work is more hardcore. Everybody's on lockdown at night. Um, It's a, it's a real deal. It's, it's where I wanted to go before I knew what it was. Um, because it was one of the potential places they could have sent me instead of to mm. Talladega. Um, and I'm so glad they didn't send me there. <laughs> oh my God. It looks so scary. So I got no shits to talk on them, but those people that stayed in those other jails, those weren't that bad. Yeah. Yeah. You, you did a great job. You made it through for real. You couldn't tap out. I could. I would. <laughs> uh, no, I probably would. I, I've heard that they get, I think, it comes out to like $54,000 because I think they're getting like three grand an episode and whatever that math comes out to, you know, I, I, don't, mm-hmm. I don't have it off the yeah. top of my head, but um, when you do it like that, it'd be easy to tap out like, you know, halfway through or something like that. If there's not some sort of escalation where like, Oh, and if you finish, there's a $10,000 bonus or something like that would mm-hmm. keep me in for the long haul. But if I'm really bummed out and I've been in here for, whatever 55 days and re- what well, i can leave now and like you keep that three grand i would leave then probably because mm-hmm. the last week is the worst week oh yeah it, it feel like two weeks insofar as how long it took